Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a brand new Android 14 feature that just got released with the latest Beta 3 that is most likely going to bring a brand new feature to One UI 6.0 once it is released around August. So real quick, right over here, we have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is running the latest version of Android with One UI 5.1. Over here, we have a Pixel 7 Pro. This is running Android 13 stable release. But then over here, we have Pixel 7 Pro running the latest Android 14 with beta number three, which has the new feature. So let me show you what I'm talking about and how this is gonna affect the Samsung One UI 6.0 once it is in fact released. So press and hold over here and go to wallpaper and style. Do the same over here, okay? And you can see they look somewhat similar. Now when I press and hold on the Android 14, we have a different look as you can see. Here we have the lock screen, the home screen. Lock screen, home screen. I can tap on them individually to make modifications to it. Over here now, we have home screen and lock screen as a text on the top, and I can switch between them like this, okay? And of course, the lock screen specifically brings a whole bunch of additional features that we're gonna be talking about in this video that most likely will make their way into One UI 6.0. Okay, so this one here, Android 13 on Pixel 7 Pro, it is pretty basic, pretty bare bones. On Samsung, you can tap on the lock screen and you can tap on the clock and you can modify it. You can change the size as you can see. You can tap on the clock, you know, you can change the clock styles, you can change the size and all that stuff as you can see. Now on this one, what they have done is, when you do go to the lock screen, you can swipe the clocks like this, okay? So this is gonna be an infinite loop, as you can see, but you have all these different styles. Let's see how many they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it looks like we have 10 different clock styles, and on top of that, just like when you do it this way, on Samsung, this is how it's done. You change the icons, you change the clock styles, whatever. Now on this one, you are able to tap over here, clock color and size. And then you can see, you can choose from all these different various colors, as you can see, okay? Let's just stick with this one, tap on size. I can do a dynamically changing clock size on the lock screen, or I can just choose to go with the smaller version. Now the dynamic is going to change sizes based on what content you have on the lock screen. So that's the new look. Let's just look at it one more time with a different, nicer clock over here, okay? I do like, I'll let you know, I like the clocks over here a little bit better. These just appear to be too playful, okay? This one is nice. So let's take a look at this, tap on here. Now first and foremost, I can tap over here and change the wallpapers just like this. It's a little uh, buggy because it's a beta, but I just clicked on this, you can see, it is applying that new wallpaper and it gives me a quick preview and I can tap on more wallpapers to access the whole uh, suite of wallpapers. And then I can tap over here, uh, change the clock. This is a little bit cleaner as you can see, okay? And this is the opacity, you can change that. And also you can do the size again. Now, if I go back, there's a couple cool things at the bottom here that Samsung has had for a minute. So shortcuts, at the bottom, you are gonna get some shortcuts. So there's a right shortcut and there's a left shortcut. They're right over here. These already are modifiable here, but we might get this new interface uh, with One UI 6.0, okay? Depending what Samsung wants to uh, do with that. Let's pick one more. So I just put flashlights on both sides uh, for demonstration, but that's what that will look like. So that's a shortcut modification on Android 14. We've got this option right here, and then we have more lock screen options. So you get a whole suite of lock screen options now appended to this menu. You can still access these options through the settings, but now they're appended right here. Everything in one place to manage your lock screen, okay? Now one more thing I'm gonna show you guys. Again, this does not have it. This is Android 13 but Samsung already has it, is if you go into the lock screen, let me just go in here, double tap to wake up, and if I press and hold, I actually get a button I can click on and then put my fingerprint or my passcode 
and access that same lock screen from here. So that's going to be the big change that we might see. Uh, even if it's not exactly like this, Samsung most likely is going to revamp it to look a little bit more like Android 14. Uh, let me know down below if you like this over here or would you prefer this over here. Uh, personally, right now, I'm in the middle. There's some good things to this and some good things to this from a design perspective. Uh, I do like this whole view here better because you can see everything at a glance. With this one, once you go inside, you can access the wallpapers, you can access the uh, clock styles, and you can access the shortcuts over here. First, you do the clock, you change the wallpaper, choose a color, and then you can go to clock size and color options uh, from here, okay? So that might be a change that is coming to One UI 6.0 on Samsung phones once it is released. As you know, Android 14 is going to be officially released also right after July. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?